My name is Tamber, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'll be playing for you guys for the next hour um, some original music that I've written. I have another girl singing with me who has not shown up yet, so I'll do a few songs by myself. Um, this is a song called Kyrie, and it's in Latin, so if you don't understand the words, that's why.
Hey.
Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, again, my name is Tamber, and I'm singing with me as Molly Pardon. And um, we do have CDs with us and shirts right over here. My friend can help you with anything you can want. <laughs> um, we have a credit card swiper if you need to use that. And um, you know, we don't tend to carry around cash with us that often. Um, we have two, we have three records. We one, one of them is a Christmas record, and the other one is all. Um, music that I've written and um, so if you want to get Christmas presents early we have, <laughs> we have our Christmas CD which parents like a lot <laughs> um, my mom likes it a lot at least um, but yeah we've got that right over here we also have a mailing list if you want to know when we're coming back through I think we're going to be coming through maybe just doing a house show or a show in November so if you want to know about that please sign up for that um, yes this next song is called The Lullaby of the Lonely House
Uh, this next song is going to be off of my first record, which, by the way, <laughs> we had our trailer stolen a few months ago, and it had all of our copies of my first record in it. So we don't have any physical copies of that, which is so sad. Um, I mean, there's like 2,000 copies floating around somewhere, maybe in a dumpster, who knows. Um, but we do have download cards of that record, which are cheaper than the CDs, so if you don't have a lot of money, you can get a download card. Um, and this is a song of that record. This is called The Autumn People.
next one's going to be a cover. Um, this is a cover. My, my favorite band is Radiohead, and I absolutely love them. Yay! I'm glad you guys like them too, because they're incredible. Um, so this is our version of their song, Like Spinning Plates. And just so you know, we do have this on the record. We got permission to use this song. And um, it's pretty epic on the record. We have a brass quartet, we have a string quartet, we have a choir, um, as well as my full band. I usually travel with a drummer and a cellist, um, so this is a little bit different today. Um, but yeah, it's pretty crazy on the record. It's really fun. Um, okay, yeah, this is like spinning plates. emotionally. Speaking of emotions, this, ne <laughs> this next song is about a boy that didn't like me. 
This is called Hope is a Blind Soul. Before I play this, I'm going to just tell you about it really, really, really quickly. Um, this is a very, very special song to me. It has a lot of meaning, and I think if any of you guys are artists or musicians, or any kind of artist, poet, painter, or whatever, um, you'll find that the stuff that you create actually grows on you, um, and it starts to take on new meaning. And I think that, I mean, that happens to me for the songs I listen to as well, different places in your life, they take on new meaning. Um, but this one has just taken a lot of meaning even in the past few months. And um, this is taken from the phrase, um, awake harp and lyre, I will awaken the dawn, and it's an old proverb. And, um, it's 
to me, what that phrase means, awakening the dawn, is something that the song is all about. Is the idea that all of us, no matter where we are in our lives, at some point we have grief, we have struggle, um, we all get hurt at some point. It's just a part of being human. And that's okay, and it's okay to recognize that you're hurt. It's okay to recognize that you're sad. But I think a lot of times we get stuck there. Like we just, we almost get comfortable because we know what to expect. Like we know it hurts, and so it's familiar. Um, but for me, I think there's a really important balance between recognizing where you are and looking towards where you want to be. And so what this song is about is like being in the middle of the night, but knowing that this, the dawn is coming and looking towards it and working towards it and running towards it. And even in a way, like calling it forth, like saying like, dawn come, morning come, like I don't want to stay where I am. And so that's what the song is about, is like chasing after healing, chasing after um, becoming more fully who you are and not staying stuck. So um, yeah, this is called Dawn Awakes.
appreciate all the time we have. So that was the last one, Fred. Thank you guys so much. Again, my name is Tamber, and I'm I'm from Nashville. So if you want to know when I'm coming back, please sign up on the mailing list. We have CDs and shirts over here, and a credit card swiper. Um, thanks to Georgia State for having me. Thank you guys for listening. This is one of the most attentive audiences I've ever had here. So